Do you know what it takes to make the perfect guacamole? It takes the right avocado. And what is the right avocado? It's this one, and it comes from Mexico. Well, if you can't find it, then you can use Haas, or you can use Fuerte, which are from California. But they're just not as buttery as these Mexican ones that we call the butter of the poor. You know that the most popular dish for the Super Bowl nowadays is guacamole. And it's so simple to make, but so many people make it wrong or they add too many things or some people think that you have to make it right before you serve it table side like they do in many restaurants but i like to make it and let it sit for a little while so that all the flavors meld beautifully so we have two avocados here you can cut it this way then you get a spoon and you can just pull it out so easily see We have the avocado nicely mashed, and then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. We're gonna have tomato, cilantro, onion, a little bit of oregano, lime juice, and jalapeno. And first we're gonna add the tomatoes. It's very important that they be nice and ripe. We want ripe tomatoes. You don't have to add all, all of them. Then we're gonna add some jalapenos. You can either de-seed them or not. So I'm just gonna pick a little bit because you don't want it to be too spicy. Then, now we have white onion. You know, we can just take a little bit of white onion. And then we'll taste it and adjust the flavor later. Some cilantro, a little bit of oregano, and then we'll mix it. Then at the end, we're gonna squeeze in a little bit of lime with my fa favorite tool, the Mexican lime squeezer. So we'll squeeze that in. You know that lime always brings out all the flavors. I always think that all food has to have a little acid at the end just to make the flavors bloom in your mouth. And now, at the very end, right before you serve it, you're gonna put in the salt. And again, we're gonna use kosher salt. Now let's see how it is. Mmm, I like it.